Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Madam Secretary, thank you for being here. Um, I want to see if you can help me understand some math, if you don't mind. Um, with OE OECD proposals, joint tax said that Pillar 2 is going to cost us $120 billion in tax revenue over a 10-year period, and OECD would, Pillar 1 would cost us $40 billion over 10 years. This is JCT. So this is, you know, we, we have to use this. So you're looking at $160 billion, probably on the conservative side, of lost revenue coming into the Treasury because we're turning that revenue over to other countries. All right, if that is the case and we're going to lose that revenue, that's one thing. But I've got, I can, I, I can just point to two Georgia companies that will, show, that will tell you that their analysis of, o, uh, of Pillar 1 will cost them combined about a billion dollars in sales. Now, if a company is going to lose a billion dollars in sales, that means they're going to start cutting back, which means that it's going to put my fellow Georgians out of work. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So again, according to JCT, um, between pillars one and two, about $160 billion in lost revenue. Now, just laying the groundwork there. You made mention that you were going to propose or work with the president and our colleagues on the other side of the aisle to raise the corporate minimum tax, uh, AMT, the corporate tax to 28%, uh, implement a new billionaire tax. You had, you had a laundry list of items, correct, that you believe we should be raising taxes on. Okay. So let me ask you something. If a company owes the Treasury $200 million in taxes, and they can, and you would like to collect those taxes to help with deficit or spending, correct? But then they can turn around and write off all of that by buying green energy tax credits, how much of that money then is of that $200 million is gonna come into the treasury? If I mean, if I can, if I can wipe out my tax liability by, by buying green energy tax credits, what good does that do in coming into the treasury? Well, if the, if the firm is uh, using the transferability feature to buy these tax credits, then another company that we want to um, benefit from those credits, the stimulus and incentive that they offer, but that lacks but, but that, uh, sufficient tax liability, this is a way in which we but, but, provide- but, wait a minute, but, but, we're giving, but we're giving a pass to, I mean, analysis has shown that about 90% of these tax credits are gonna go to companies with over a billion dollars in revenue. And again, if you're looking to, to bring revenue into the Treasury to pay for whatever. Look, it's really the same thing as essentially making the tax credits refundable, which would have why would been we, why an would alternative. We, why, would we, why, would we, why would we do that? Why would we give because companies like many, Amazon and, and Walmart, these major corporations, because, refundable credits to go... To, to go spend money in the green energy sector. Because many, many of the companies that will are responding to the IRA and building the clean energy economy we want to see are companies that lack sufficient tax liability to be able to benefit wait, wait, from wait, these wait, tax Wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're gonna, if, Madam Secretary, reclaim my time. If you're going to go down that road and you're going to say companies lack that they lack that tax liability. Why, why are we doing it on, on green energy and not looking at pharmaceuticals, not looking at other technology? But, bo but bottom line, why, would we, why wouldn't we just say to Amazon, okay, not to, pick, not to pick on them, but they are a highly profitable company, why not just say yeah, you've got to pay your taxes and then you go buy, the, you go buy a fleet of, of battery-powered vans if you want to. You, you're, you're cutting revenues, you're giving a tax break to the very people that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are saying have to go, they want them to pay their fair share, but they're not gonna pay their fair share because they're gonna go down this, they're gonna go down this, 
this green energy yeah. deal that absolutely undermines our competitiveness. It doesn't make sense. The math doesn't add up. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. 